happens uh, that you came up to reside that you're going to close these five locations? Well, as I mentioned earlier, several of, well, actually all of these facilities contain a great deal of excess space. And as I indicated at the start of my talk, we are looking to consolidate operations um, and increase efficiencies. So we're utilizing a, a facility, uh, let's put this way, this facility <coughs> is underutilized. So we are just taking a serious look at all the facilities we have on a nationwide basis that are underutilized. Is it also because that uh, by the, uh, the guideline that the post office should be a, a freestanding building rather than to be within all the uh, businesses in the same building, is that true? I'm sorry? Because uh, you have to make a decision uh, uh, that the post office is an independent uh, freestanding building rather than to mingle yourself. Okay, council member, uh, that was, we, we already discussed that, that they, many of their facilities are in lease space, so they will consider lease space. Okay, so they consider that. Yes. And now, uh, you mentioned earlier that if you cannot sell the, the property, then you will not close the, the, the post office at that location. That's correct. Okay, thank you. Mayor Fosin Gonzalez. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Ms. Romenke, thank you so much for coming down and you know, uh, informing us. Uh, I, don't, I do not see uh, on the evaluated facilities list any in my council district. Uh, and so uh, for the viewing public and maybe watching, just want to convey that to, to uh, my constituents. But my question is, if a citizen does want more information on uh, additional public hearings or how they can give comment or find out more about it, is there a website they can go to? Or do you have a phone number that they can contact? What would be the best way for us to refer uh, any citizen that may want more information? Well, in the posting, I've got my complete address. I would prefer to have these comments in writing. I, I need to keep this because there's other individuals in the organization that I, I have to pull the copies to. So it would be, I, I'll be more than happy to provide my phone number, but I would prefer them being in writing. Sure. Um, if, if, do you have a, an address that you could provide right now just so that we could jot it down, or maybe if you have a flyer circular that we could then uh, pass out? I do. Yeah. Um, the address would be PO Box 667 180. And that's in Dallas, <coughs> and the zip code is 75266-7180. And they address it to the, uh, the United States Postal Service and, and the care of you? That's correct, and yes. Mr. Mekki and Sandra, and then last, last name R-A-F-E-E-K-I? No, R-Y-B-I-C-K-I, right, thank you. They can spell it again? Sure. R Y. B I C K I. Okay. And what's the deadline for someone to submit any comments or suggestions? 15 days following this meeting. I believe that day is January 3rd. I'm sorry. Is there a possibility uh, uh, for an extension of that date simply because we are following during the busy uh, policy? Christmas holiday times, is there any flexibility at all? That um, under the circumstances, I believe so, yes. <coughs> Thank you very much, appreciate it. Councilman Brad. Thank you, Mayor. Just a couple of follow-up questions. Where is our federal uh, local government, where are they standing on this particular issue and how are they communicate, since this is a, a federal issue with post offices, so what is their communication to their constituents concerning this issue? Well. I, I, I believe Dr. Councilman asked earlier, um, notifying congressmen's offices. That is not part of my process, but that has in fact been completed. It is part of our consumer affairs um, responsibility, and that has been done. Are you local? No, I'm in Dallas. And you're in Dallas. Who's our local contact here? So if someone wanted to get a hold of someone that's local that's here and have meetings to meet with, they would have to call you and have to buy you some sign? Well, yes. And my other question is for you, and you said that the public hearing is 15 days after this after this public hearing? Comment period. Comment period, yes. yes. Who made the decision to do it during the holiday season? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Council Member Burke. Thank you, Mayor. Let me ask you something. Why are we doing this? The facilities are completely underutilized. No, I'm sorry. The facilities are underutilized. Underutilized. In other words, we have a great deal of excess space in the <coughs> facilities. Now, there's a lot of growth, a lot of density happening in these areas. It was just stated by my colleague, Councilmember Penny. 
underutilized, but more people are moving into the area. Uh, now it confuses me a little bit. Okay, um, th there's a distinction between our retail, which is really what impacts the public, and our delivery operation, which is what the public doesn't see. It's behind the counter. It's it's where the carriers actually um, uh, service the mail, so it's, it, it can be delivered to the, the public. So this back portion that I'm referring to, this delivery operation, is completely underutilized. The retail, again, if the decision is made to relocate this retail, it will be large enough to accommodate the existing operation as well as any future growth. What about convenience of people who live in the area, senior citizens? We do take that into consideration. Thank you. Yeah. Council members, I would encourage you not to uh, not shoot the messenger and this right back here. The presentation on, on behalf of the United States Postal Service, you didn't make the decision to come here to inform us. Are there any further questions? Council Member Pennington. Uh, since, since you talk about uh, <coughs> I think the parking lot may, the retail part of the parking lot may not always be full, but the lines are always long inside. So, uh, <laughs> you, you know, if I consider a restaffing uh, that would improve services, then you'd probably get more people in there. Thank you. <coughs> <coughs> Does you have any more uh, uh, questions if you're sufficiently able to follow the process? Thank you very much.